Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we are going risk seeding. Not how I we intended on doing this, but Father Phil changed his mind he wants to harrow this. We were to scratch this field, but he changed his mind he wants to harrow it now. Don't ask me why, maybe he just wants to create some work for our big stones, but how and ever. But that is what we are doing today. Today's video is sponsored by Liffey Mills. We'll be looking at their grass seed later on when we're putting it in. But not only have they sponsored today's video, they have also given me three bags of grass seed to give away to ye lovely viewers. So three bags of grass seed will do, three acres, a bag of grass seed to acre, that's normally what we work on. If you want to enter the competition to win yourself three bags of grass seed and some Liffey Mill merchandise, head over to my Instagram, which is farmer underscore phil underscore 135 i've double checked that it'll appear down there and there'll be a link in the description and go to my latest post which should be of the harrow or the cedar with some bags of grass seed like the post and tag two people in the comments below it to enter to get yourself in with a chance of winning three bags of grass seed off if you mill but anyways so the plan is this is what we have father phil is here pushing in tidying up the back of the hedge there's a lot of sticks and trees and stuff down in the bottom and there was stones out in the field and he's just raking all back in so that's what he's at so i'm going to help the harrow from the last day where we were it said shallow i want to go deep always go first cut deep to get in and turn it up a bit and um yeah we get bro up then start picking stones because here's one here i'm going to turn that up but sure how whenever what can you do we will start on that headland because it's done down there. I don't know whether he's more to do that headland, but um, we'll get ourselves set up. So I have to unfold them and change these. That's the settings for the crumbler. So that controls the depth of the back disc as between them settings there and your top link controls how deep you go front and back and level and that. And we'll get harrow on this and then we will be getting our grass harrowed in to sort in afterward. So that is the plan, that is the story. Pick stones and roll it and it is finished with. Hopefully all done today and hopefully knock your henny showers of rain. Just about ready to go, so just going me presets. So on the presets on this tractor, I have round bale, I have square bale, I have mow, and I have harrow. They're the four jobs this tractor does. All different presets for working my headland management and my preset throttles. That's why we use it, and also the preset hydraulic pressures. So I need to press this and that. That's on. Spend that check. Turn off that. Suspension and I think I'm ready to go. Just check button, 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 button. It's good there. Close the window. I don't like the dust and we're ready to get going. Button, button, forward. reason why we're harrowing this, I know I originally said we were going to stitch it in, that was kind of a plan, but with done a fair bit of tidying in the backs of the hedges and there was a pile of stones in one end of the field and we just wanted to get all that clear. It's just left, you can see the bit of backs work and that, that little bit rough. The stitcher isn't going to do anything for that, not a dicky bird. The harrow will take a lot of that over. The harrow the disc car I can do a little bit of level, level cattle tracks, small ruts, bit of monkeying around, it'll do that. It's not a land leveler, don't get me wrong, it's not a land leveler, it's not going to start leveling in hollows and stuff, but it will do a good leveling job on small ruts, small things, cattle tracks, that kind of job, smooth it out perfectly. We are going to turn up a few stones, that is the downside. Father Phil thinks we're not going to turn up with any stones. I know we're going to turn up stones. This will probably take three cuts to get it right. So, as usual, it will be two deep cuts, one shallow cut, just to level everything off. I can't see it doing it in, in two cuts now. So I can't 
it just takes them two deep cuts to be able to break up enough of the scraw to be able to get it done. This is silage ground, grazing and silage ground. It is level, we had it grazed off. We had it topped, some of it. We didn't, where there was stones and stuff, we didn't top. Or um, trees and that. Yeah, I think I might have to make some adjustments on my top plane. It's not just going deep enough for my liking now. I'm going to have to shorten the top link to let the front discs down further get into the ground to get a good rip on that sod so that is an old sod and it'll take a bit of ripping to get it to, to break up but we'll go and show you eventually so just have the first cut done and start the rain sticking a slight bit to the rollers or the crumblers not too bad pretty cloudy definitely going to need that the, the tree cuts definitely so it is not looking great now this keeps as it seems to be getting heavier now i'll do another bit but i think that could be it for today where i'm gonna to have to pick this up and knows how long because the next block of dry days will be whole cropping and second cut silage so it's going to be a bit of havoc now trying to get this job done but oh look at shit up what can you do what can you do can see it there so quite literally you can easily see a plow it just catches down two inches three inches of, of sod throws it up like that and it takes the second run to just mush it just done a second run here just to see what it was like you can see now after the second run it just destroys them clods destroys them and then the third run just levels it all out and leaves just that little bit nicer and you can see the difference there two runs one run cloddy not as cloddy we'll um, see how much more we can get done maybe i keep going it's just starting to ease off a bit now but and that folks is the end of the harrowing for today have they on home i think we'll go find something else to be at we will finish this video sometime in the future god only knows when we are back two weeks i think it's two weeks since we were here last and we got rained off we were back to finish it up today and bro is here to pick the stones though i don't think that's going to be picked yeah so bro's got picked stones there's very very little stones i'm actually really surprised how little stones there is out here thing or nothing so i'm hoping to get this in one cut because it's been a few weeks, this all the sods and everything has more time to die. It should just crumble up fierce, fierce well. Still is a lot of moisture there, and you can see the little bits of green just starting to come. So when we hire that again, that will kill all that stuff off again. And the plan is we get this one cut, hopefully it'll be good enough. Eric will pick the lock of stones, we'll come back with the scratcher, we'll sew it, and come back with the roller and roll it and we're done and dusted so that is the plan so i'm going to get to it because you never know what that day has in store so we're up and running here now working away at the finest bro is picking stones there is there is very very little to do i told him only pick what i've done because otherwise i just turn up stones what every run of the harrow will do but um no so i kind of have settled on one run just isn't enough so I am doing what I tend to do sometimes is an overlap. So I'm currently literally half and half is what I'm doing. So I'm traveling on the middle of the ground, you'll see here now. So that I'm half harrowing new stuff, half harrowing what I harrowed the last time. And it's doing that way just now means I have to cross the field once and you can see I'm getting a nice lovely finish there on that. It's a little bit soddy this side and then it's just one cut there so it'll be in and out of this with three cuts of the harrow which isn't too bad that is generally run of the mill the only time you ever get away with less than that is if it was the field was quite literally tramped within an inch of its life and there was near a bit of a sod left on it the thicker the sod or the scraw that's on it the more cuts of the harrow it takes to get it nice to be able to break them sods down enough to get you a nice fine seed bed 
so I mean, there's, there's a fair bit of going up and down and then down to get across but once you get across once that'll be it bro doesn't look too happy though it's why he doesn't literally finished now so just run that last bit of a track there to the gap and just look hey ah oh, i'm fierce happy with that lovely and level you can see there's still a bit of sauce but that doesn't matter but the most of it it's it yeah just just really happy with that now i hired up a fierce well clouds just <laughs> wouldn't rely on them but anyways i'm gonna be on home and bring back up the scratcher and give me bags of Liffey Mills grass seed and we'll discuss their grass seed when we get back to the yard. Bro, I'm going to leave you here to pick stones. If you stay here and pick stones till I come back, you can do the rolling after I have it sewed and I'll pick the stones while you're rolling. No, man. What can I do? Plus, more, all the big stones are gone. There's more out there. You miss metal out there. There's metal and stones in the middle of the field. No, it's not my... Oh, well, it's just the same thing as a stone. If you look after that, you can roll the field. Does it look like I want to roll the field? <sighs> Anyways, I don't have time to argue with you. So will you please just pick them last few stones and you can do the rolling. Okay. We'll be on. So this is take number three. The last bit you've seen me, we just finished up in the field. Lovely, ready to start sewing. Come home. And the heavens opened, we got cloudburst. And that was it, couldn't go near it. So now, we have the grass harrow on. It's your first time getting to see her in action, even though I'd like to have shown you it, like doing what the ball for, which is going straight into grass, not to have to do any harrow line, but however, we'll show you that again. But, we'll go over to the house now, we'll get ourselves some grass seed, show you the Liffey Mills grass seed bag and let you in on more of the competition. We get this done now, busy day today, again, more silage on the ground. So I gotta get this out of the way and then get back and get rolled. So I'll be using the Cambridge roller, not the flock roller, because it's six meters wide, the Cambridge roller, and I get through it that a little bit quicker. Anyways, we get ourselves loaded up with just two and a half ish acres. I'll just double check on her watch, see exactly how much is in it, but it's a bag today acres what we're sewing at. So yeah, we're gonna get ourselves some grass. So here's the grass seed in here beside the woolsey. So I just measured the field on her watch's maps. And it is three acres, just lit slightly over three acres. But anyway, so that means three bags should do it. So here are Liffey Mills <coughs> grass seeds. So they have four main mixes. They have their silage sward, they have sward maker, they have gold sward, and they have sweet sward. So your silage sward is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a mix of diploids and treploids. If you don't know what diploids and treploids are, they're types of grasses. So a diploid grows out and a tre treploid grows up, if I tetraploid grows up. So your rye grasses are tetraploids and then your other grasses grow out. Your sward maker is your wet ground mix and it has a lot of diploids as a diploid creates a good soil or a good sward which will he help keep you up on ground good for silage. Your gold sward is your dual purpose sward mix of uh, again diploids and treploids but it's designed for getting grazing and getting two cuts of silage out of it if you wanted and then your sweet sword is your high dm high yielding 
paddock and grass for the likes of dairy farmers and that if you want to learn more about Liffey Mills's mixes there'll be links in the description down below if you want to get yourself some of the grass seed it'll be down below you want to enter the competition I can't remember how I said to start a video I think it was go follow me on Instagram maybe I cannot remember I'll voice over because I completely forgot but get yourself in with a chance of winning three bags of grass seed from Liffey Mills and some of their goodie bags Big thanks to Liffey Mills for sponsoring today's videos and giving that competition to my viewers. So big thanks to them. And you literally get to receive what I'm receiving now with the grass seed for free. So it's a great job. If you want to learn more about what Liffey Mills has, the seed, fertilizers, everything else they have, you can check out the website, which will be in the description down below. With the year that's in it, some grass seeds have been quite hard to get, but Liffey Mills has the best of the best in their bags. Exactly what it says on the tin. They have the high PPI, plants your abergales your Aber aberclides and all of them so or some of their competitors weren't able to get the top ones and had to settle for lesser ones but anyways we are after a uh, gold sword is what i'm after which i think is in the green yes so i'm after gold sword which is the green bags which is a abergain abertrice ballyvoy and aberhurled they also have clover in their mixes as well so anyways i want three bags three green bags and we get going There's a grass seed. And the clover in it too. Little pellets. That's it. So the hopper holds five bags, so do five acres at a time. So there is that's it. Close her up. And we hit the road. We are up, ready, ready to rock and roll. Field is in fantastic order. So it is, it is just looking mighty. So it is. It's da a bit damp underneath, but it's just it's in lovely order. So just check to make sure none of my spouts are blocked. Because if you spin that wheel and there's a bit of grass seed in it and the blower isn't running, it will block them. I found that the last day I was going and I'm um, it took me a bit of going to get it unblocked, so I did. So just check to make sure no one was playing with it in the shed. No, so it's good to go. Fans on, grass seeds in it. We're starting that hedge and we just keep going up and down ourselves all the way along, do the headlands, and that's it. Won't take too long, so don't, because we're traveling six meters wide, which is great. So it is. There's Father Phil and Liv on the calf rounds. It's working away there, lovely so it is. You might be able to see the seat going in. But that's one, one thing you'll see now when using this. You'll see every, at the end of every run, it drags quite a bit of stuff now. Quite a bit of rubbish in the field, you can see bits of netting plastic there. But that's one thing it does do, it, it'll drag a fair bit of old trash tighter end of the field. But it's just, it's doing a lovely job there, just nicely tilling it out, so it is. Nicely tilling it out. So, down and down the field we go. So I will not be long doing this now. Six meters, it just can't be at six meters. But anyways, this is our new way of doing this. Receding. What we usually, what we done before we had the grass hair was the 35 in the spinner, spin the grass seed into it, roll it. We'll be coming back here with the ring roller. Father Phil says don't do it today because it's a little bit, a little bit damp itself. He says if it gets, if it dries for a day, it, it'll be all the better. So, so we'll be doing. But um, 
Yeah, but that's how we do it. But there's lots of ways to do receding. You can bow and tail, you can flat lift and tail, you can tail, and now you don't even need to tail with this yoke. And I know I did say I was going to show you that and, and how it was done. We've done a bit with this, not, not a whole lot, but we did do a bit for an organic farmer. There was no spraying off involved. Give it four runs of this, and then on the fourth run, we put in the grass seed. And I got a bit of advice from a man in Hereford that's in organics, and um, he advised me to advise the farmer to um, top it as soon as soon as the it come up ankle high, top the field, and that allowed that was to cut the old grass, cut any weeds that grew after getting a bit of a tilling in the ground, and let the new grass come up. And I've mowed it there yesterday, and I'll go back to Bale this evening and um, fantastic job the farmer is very very happy with it it done exactly what it needed to be done it's rejuvenated his silage ground and it's 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 definitely doubled what he has the the crop he has on, has on it now compared to the second cut last year now i have a job to do with this after a second cut silage to go in and stitch a bit straight into the ground with spraying off we'll film that just to show you what it's like but it does work and we're happy with it and the farmer we've done it for is happy with it just haven't done it for ourselves yet so i put the camera down though that you might be able to see a bit of what's going on you can see the wheel turning and turning the yoke here so i'll open it up a bit too right? That's the field sown in no time at all, absolutely no time at all. So that is the one thing, it tends to gather a lot of stuff now, there is a lot of dirt in the field. But when I go to roll that, I'll just have to bring a fork with me and tidy up the corners because when you do the headlands, you pull everything into the corner so you kind of make a little pile of it. But just, just look at that, just look at that. Ah, oh, I'm well happy with that, it's just very, very nice. So it can see can we see any seeds seed 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 so there's a nice there's a nice amount of seed in it there pretty sure the hopper is either just about empty or empty it's not the easiest you to get up onto so it's not yeah it's empty so fold up with Behan home and then I go off my jobs. That is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and also make sure to do whatever I said to do in the competition. Go like my Instagram page so that you can get yourself in with a chance of winning three bags of Liffey Mills grass seed and some Liffey Mills goodies as well so you can get your own three acre field sown and whatever grass seed you want. But I'm well happy with that. It does a quite, it does a very nice job. So it does very nice job and leaves a lovely finish and we will get a video done of putting it straight in after mowing um, probably in a week's time or two weeks time so you keep an eye out for that but yeah does a great job well happy with that but anyways we leave it at that for today's video if you want to get some receding done for yourself you know her to get in contact with us send me an email at farmerfield135 or whatever and we leave it at that for today's video that is it for me please like and subscribe to the channel good luck